Hello everyone. Hope you are doing good. Welcome to the Spring Boot Tutorial Episode 8. This is my channel ProtoHub. In this video, we will take a look at auto wired annotation, why it is not recommended as per coding standard. We will also see the alternate approach for this. Let's move on. First we will see what is auto wire and then we will focus on its problem. Let's assume that you have already created a bean which is named as A. Now you want to fetch that bean, A, from IOC container, so you will have to check, and fetch the bean from that container. So that is where you will be using auto wired annotation. In simple words, to fetch the created bean, you will be using it. We have already come across the auto wired annotation in episode 5 and 6. If you haven't checked that, click on the video card displaying on the top right corner of this video. Now let's look at auto wired annotation on how it is being used in the source code. Let's create a class named Google Pay. We will annotate the class with component annotation. We will also define a method named get API info. Now we create another class named component controller. We will annotate the class with at the rate rest controller annotation. Now here comes the big part of this episode. As we have already annotated the class Google Pay with component annotation, it will create a bean in IOC container. We will now fetch the bean from IOC using auto wire annotation so that we can use that bean in our business logic. Hence we annotate the Google Pay bean declaration with auto wired annotation. Then we will create an API, and in that API we will call the method from Google Pay class. Let's run the application and test the API. After executing the API, we can see the response that we are expecting. So what is the problem in using auto wired annotation? First problem is, when you explicitly define a bean using constructor injection or any, that will override auto wiring. Second problem is, it may lead to null pointer exception. Third problem is that the rate auto wired can make the code more complex, especially when dealing with circular dependencies. When two or more classes depend on each other, it becomes hard to determine the order in which they should be instantiated. This can lead to runtime errors that are hard to debug. These are few problems on using auto wiring. But there is another most important point. For few classes, the usage of auto wired annotation can be acceptable. But in case of more number of classes, it is advisable not to use it. Then what is the solution or alternate approach to overcome? We can use constructor based dependency injection. To use the constructor based approach, we can use at the rate required argument constructor annotation at the class level. This annotation comes under the Lombok dependency. After we add that Lombok dependency into our pom.xml, we can proceed further. To know how to add a dependency to the pom.xml file, take a look at the episode 3 of this tutorial. Click on the video card on right corner of this video to watch that episode. Now we shall remove the auto wired annotation from the Google Pay Bean declaration line. Add final keyword to the declaration to make the bean immutable. Now add it the rate required argument constructor annotation at the class level. Thus to do this constructor based approach, we have added the final keyword to bean declaration, and we have added the annotation at the class level. Let's run the application and test the API. After executing the API, we can see the response that we are expecting. That's it for this episode, and I will come up with another exciting topic in the next episode, and until then stay tuned with ProtoHub, and I will see you in the next episode, thank you.